The radio caller was supposed to be there to not just track cheetahs, but also as a security ring, a way to keep track of where they are. But is the radio caller now turning out to be the biggest enemy of the cheetahs who've been translocated from Namibia and South Africa? India has got 20 cheetahs from these two countries as a part of the Project Cheetah. Eight of them have died in just a few months, raising alarm bells not just in India but globally as well. Now, Project Cheetah is an ambitious project. The first set of cheetahs were introduced at Kuno on, in September 2022. After that, more cheetahs were brought in as a part of Project Cheetah. But is the radio caller becoming the bone of contention? Now, the Environment Ministry has said that five of the 20 cheetahs that we have got, five of the deaths were due to natural causes. But what has really worried conservationists is the back-to-back -back deaths of Tejas and Suraj. cheetahs that died in a span of just four days. Now a video that is circulating also shows wounds on the neck of cheetah Suraj and also shows that it was not only infected but there were maggots in it and this is something that can actually it's a life-threatening infection and is that the reason that this cheetah died? Now, the Environment Ministry does say that all of these reports that the radio caller has triggered the infection are speculative and lacking in scientific evidence. But sources have also told TOISP Naveen that on Monday, one of the cheetahs, now there are three radio caller cheetahs, one of the cheetahs, Pavan, was actually, his, the life of this cheetah was saved because the radio caller was removed after this cheetah was tranquilized. And that's when the officials actually found infection flies all around the collar. So they are saying that the life of Pavan was saved because the collar was removed on time. That brings us to the next obvious question. Where are the other two radio collar cheetahs, Gaurav and Shorya? There's a frantic hunt currently in Kuno to track them and tranquilize them so that the radio collars can be removed if they notice any signs of infection. Also, a well-known specialist, Mike Toft, will also be in Kuno to join the investigations.